Hey, welcome to Southside Time for Kids. Good to see you all again. Hope you've been having a good week. I hear some of you are about to head back to school. Do you think that's exciting? You're looking forward to being back with your classmates? I hope so. Well, as we start today, let's see if we can do our prayer together. Standing up, ready? Let's go. From the top of my head to the tip of my toes, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front, to my wiggly fingers, God loves me, yay! And as we think about God loving us, we're gonna think about how we need to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. So let's sing that song we sang last week, Love the Lord Your God. singing there well done it's great when you sing along do the actions well normally this time we have Grover so Grover I wonder where he is best time of the week isn't it when we have Grover let's find him Grover Grover ah ah so so you want me to join you this week Grover of course we want to you to join us ah all right then what's wrong Grover what's what's been happening oh well I was watching last week's video that we made, and, and the week before. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you enjoy it? No. Uh, no, I didn't. No! What? Was it my bad singing? Oh, well, that was pretty shocking. Well, but there's something else. Well, what's wrong, Grover? Well, well, you know, I watched it, and McGregor has a bigger part than I do. Well, Grover. You know, I'm sure the kids enjoy your bit more than they enjoy McGregor's. Oh, well, maybe, but, but, I mean, do you like me more than you like McGregor? Um, you know what, Grover? It's not so much that I like you more than him. In fact, I think you're both special. Just like I think everyone in the church is special. Because you know what? We're called to love one another. Love one another? Really? Oh, is that why sometimes people come up and give me a hug when I'm at church? Well, yeah, that can be their way of showing that they love you and that they think you're important. Oh, but, oh, but, you know, I might walk into church and go, oh, I love them. Oh, I want to give them hugs and kisses. They're so lovely. Uh, <laughs> see your problem, Grover. Yeah, when we think about love, we often think about, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend or huggy and kissy type thing. But what Jesus is talking about is that we love each other. We care for each other. We want to do good for each other. We want the best for other people. Oh, oh. So we, so we want good things to happen to people. Yeah, so we want them to have the best they can have and to be the best they can be. Oh. Oh, so you mean like I'd want McGregor to do really well in his bit? Yeah, you would. Oh, no. And I wouldn't mind if his bit was a little bit longer than my bit. Well, probably not. Oh. So I'm meant to love him too. Just as much as anyone else. Yeah, Grover. We have to love each other. Oh. So have you tried talking with McGregor about it? Oh, no, I just don't want to talk. You know, part of being church is, it's like we're a family. And families, you've got to talk. If there's something wrong, you just let it hide away inside. It's like this big weight inside you and you feel bad and you feel worse and you feel worse and you feel worse. But if you talk about it, sometimes it gets better. Oh, I think so? 
Yeah, I reckon if you talk with McGregor about it, he'll understand and maybe you can change something. Oh, you're right, you know, maybe we should talk about things. You know, you might be able to sing, but you're pretty clever sometimes, Richard. Thank you, Grover. Oh, well, I'll see you all next week. I know you'll be waiting for me. Bye, everybody. Bye, Grover. Wow, thanks, Grover. That was great to hear from you again. Now, let's consider some of those things we were talking about with Grover. So over these weeks, we've been talking about some of the commitments we made when we became Southside Uniting. You might remember back to that big service we had at Yeronga. You know, there were lots of people. Maybe it went a little bit long. That happens in services. But we made commitments to say, this is how we're going to act as our new church. Last week we talked about we were going to be Christ-centred and focus on Jesus. This week we're thinking about that we have healthy relationships. Now as a church we're called to love one another, as we talked about with Grover, and that means more than hugs and kisses. It means we want the best for other people. And so we celebrate when good things happen to people and we're sad when sad things happen to them. So we might celebrate with Patrick when he rides really well at his mountain biking, or we celebrate with Bill when he gets to nationals in his running, or we celebrate with Hannah and Henry and others with their dance. And then we're sad when people are hurting, when people are sad. Maybe as a church we take meals around to people to provide for them when someone's sick or they're not able to cook for themselves. We help them out. But it's not just about those sort of things. That's showing love. We also want to have good relationships where we talk to one another. And when we share when we're hurt, as we said to Grover, sometimes we need to open up and tell people when they've hurt us. They might not even realise they've done anything. So we, sometimes if someone does something that hurts us, we need to go to them and say, you know what, when you did that, that made me feel sad. Now own that it's something that you felt. <gasps> when you didn't ask me for my answer at Sunday school, you made me feel sad. When you grabbed that book from me, you made me feel sad. When you ate the last bit of popcorn, you made me feel sad. Whatever it is, we go and talk to the person. We try and solve it with them. And they'll probably say sorry, you know. And one thing we make sure we don't do is we don't go and talk to others. We don't go and say, oh, Mr. McGregor, do you know what that Grover did? Oh, he's such a bad person. Because how would you feel if you found out that some of your friends at church were telling bad things about you to other people? I know I'd feel really sad, and I bet you would too. So we talk to the person. We don't tell other bad things. We might tell other good things about people. But we try not to tell other people bad things about other people. And so that's our challenge, to try and have good relationships where we care for one another, build one another up, have open and honest conversations with each other. I tell you what, while you're having dinner tonight or a meal with your family, you might want to discuss what are those things that people in the church have done that help them to feel loved. Or maybe they might think of times when they've shown love in a special way to people at church. See how many you can come up with. Maybe you've got some in your mind. Have a think. But as we think about good relationships and loving another, one another, we're going to sing a song that encourages us to put on love every day. For those of you at Tarragindi, we've sung this sometimes in the morning. Others of you, it might be new, but I bet you can join in. So let's sing about Put On Love Every Day.
you all. Nice to have you here again. I'm Mr. McGregor for those who don't know. I'm here to tell you about the countries we're praying for with our peace candle this week. I, it's India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. There they are on the map. Hey, first India. The population is 1.37 billion. That's billion people, not a million. That's a lot of people. Capital city is New Delhi, with about 29 million people living there. That's more than Australia's got all up. The languages are 20, there are 22 different languages. Hindi is the most common. <coughs> Religion is mainly Hindus, but also some Muslims and other faiths. The currency is an Indian rupee equal to 100 paise. I did you know that snakes and ladders is from India. It was earlier known as Mokshya Patamu. And the game was initially invented as a moral lesson about karma to be taught to children. It was later commercialized and has become one of the most popular board games in the world. I bet you played it. Did you know India has a spa just for elephants? Elephants receive baths, massages, and even food at the Punapur Kota Elephant Yard Rejuvenation Center in Kerala. Nah, that's a big step for the country. And when Dr. Rajendra Prasad was appointed the president of India, you know, he only took 50% of his salary, that's just half. Claim that he did not require more than that. Towards the end of his 12 year tenure, he only took 25%, only a quarter. The salary of the president was 10,000 rupees back then. It's all in Pakistan. The total population is 216 million. The capital is Islamabad. The currency is the Pakistani rupee. And official languages are Urdu and English. The religion is mainly Islam. Pakistan has the world's highest paved international road, the Karakoram Highway, which is said to be the eighth wonder of the world. Mahala Yousafzai received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014 jointly with the Indian Kailash Satoriyati, who has fought their struggle against the suppression of children and young people and for the right of all children to education. Yousafzai was 17 when she was awarded the Nobel Prize, making her the youngest ever recipient. And you know, if you play soccer, it's called, called football where I'm from. It's likely that you be put on a boot onto a product made in Pakistan. You know, workers in the country and saw many of the soccer balls distributed around the world. And as the Atlantic reports, roughly 40% of all soccer balls in the world are made in one Pakistani city, a Sialkot. So when you get to go out and pick your soccer ball, you don't need to have a look at it and see what yours is. I then Sri Lanka finally. The population is 21 million people live in Sri Lanka. Capital cities Sri Jarawandapura, Kote. The official languages are Sinhal Tamil. Currency is a Sri Lankan rupee. Sri Lanka only covers an air area of 25,000 square miles, which is just slightly larger than the US state of West Virginia. However, its wildlife is increasingly diverse. It's home to 123 species of mammals, such as elephants, leopards, and crocodiles, 227 species of birds, 178 species of reptiles, and 122 species of amphibians, and many other animal species. You know, if you're a tea drinker, you kind of may come from Sri Lanka, formerly known as Ceylon, a name synonymous with tea, brought from China in 1824 by the British, the first tea plant on the island was displayed in the Royal Botanical Gardens outside Kandy and has grown into a huge business. This tea drop island nation is still a leading tea producer and exporter with over 1 million of its 22 million people working for the tea industry. For tea enthusiasts traveling to Sri Lanka, be sure to visit Salon Tea Museum, situated just four kilometers south of Kandy. It is an ideal place to enjoy a nice cuppa and learn about the history of tea in Sri Lanka. You will find the exhibits from tea pioneers like James Taylor and Thomas Lipton who have helped make tea part of daily life in the UK. Are you no 
countries. And you nod your head to show that you agree with something, then you shake your head to say no. I would not in Sri Lanka. <coughs> they, when they want to say yes, they shake their head. In Lanka, yes, I agree. <coughs> it is quite confusing to foreigners, but you get used to it after a while. I always pray for these countries. For loving God, we thank you for these wonderful countries, <coughs> full of so, so many people. Lord, we thank you for the wonderful variety of animals and the things that come from there. We thank you for soccer balls. We thank you for tea. Lord, we pray for those countries as they struggle to find food and places for people to live. Lord, just help us to be generous, to share with them. Oh Lord, we pray that people will understand and love one another, even in difficult circumstances. Help us to show our love to them and to those around us. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I will thank you for visiting us again, and we'll see you again next week. Bye, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope you've had heaps of fun. Hope you've enjoyed what we've been doing here. Hope to see you again next week. If you're going back to school this week, I hope you have a great time. But catch you around. Take care of yourselves.